Hey guys, and welcome to Overland and Zed. So today's little project that I'm doing, I'm putting some USB ports up in the tent at long last. So with, I guess, summer being over, like daylight savings is done, and it gets dark pretty early, and when I'm camping by myself, I've found that I tend to go through quite a lot more battery on my phone than I used to. Like, assuming I'm camping somewhere with reception, it's it's nice now to use my phone during the evening and, I guess, entertain myself when it's dark from, you know, like 5.30 till the morning time. So basically, I've got some USB ports in a little mount thing, and um, I'm gonna stick this on the floor of the tent. I'm pretty sure there's a bit of space around the hinge. I'm also gonna modify this ever so slightly to um, add my tent lights, as I currently have to run a wire out the back door and up and in the little gap, and that works fine, but it is just a little bit messy, and I'd like to just have a plug inside the tent. This time I've bought some white wire, so we're going to do what I've done with these wires, hopefully you can see them up here, and run out of the tail light and up to the roof. These ones, I just did like a two red wires, one's got a negative obviously, um, and they control the lights on the side of the awning. So these ones are switched, and um, you know, I was going to turn them on off because they're lights and I don't want them on all the time. This one, however, is not going to be switched. So yeah, let's, let's get into it. So adding stuff to this, I keep cable tying it all together and then um, I'm gonna redo it and redo it and redo it. Righty, so behind the tail light, there's a little grommet here that I've drilled out on the other side. It sticks just in there. I'm basically gonna run this wire through the hole and then push it in and it'll appear somewhere inside of the boot here. That is the tail light back on and the wire basically run underneath the panels. I know this is fairly specific to this car, but I mean, all cars are gonna have, I guess, some way to get wires in and out of them. And um, yeah, this one's just nice and easy. So now I've got the wire. I'm just gonna do what I've done the other side for now and stick it down with some white PVC tape and the rest of this up onto the roof. So I realized that I made my life slightly tricky by um, having the tent up there and I can't quite get to the bottom of the roof tray very easily. It's gonna be a little bit fiddly as I wanna put one of these plugs up there just so that I can unplug the tent from the wiring for when I take it off. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. All right, so it's the wire basically up on the roof, nice and easy. And I'm gonna pretty much put my plug behind one of these uh, backbone bars here as you won't be able to see it and I can cable tie it into the what is that? The, the bolt hole. Um, and then I'm basically gonna loop it around, come up under here, and then through the bottom of the tent. And the, the hinge sits around here, and there should be some space in the mattress where I can mount that USB plug. All right, so I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's user error, but I've just spent the last hour getting this plug to work. So it might be the first and last time I ever use them. One cool thing though that I did do, soldering iron into the inverter. I've never thought to do it before and I'm um, running cables out to where I am here is a bit of a pain. Oh, that's still hot. Um, but yeah, I can run the soldering iron off the inverter. How cool is that? All right, so I've drilled this guy and it just comes in like that. I'm gonna put a loop and cable tie the wire in just to stop it from pulling out. Uh, I've got some speed terminals and they'll go onto here and I'm gonna crimp Hopefully these and the wire running up to the roof together, and this can all just be kind of one, you know, loomy thing. So yeah, now for the fun part of opening the tent and um, drilling into it. It's not actually as bad as I thought. I did have to move the rails and I mounted it up on the fortune here, so it'll be all good, but it's never fun drilling into something like that, eh? All right, so, up in the tent now. It's all set up and, Ready to roll. So this is the little USB port thing I've got. I'm thinking just down in here. So if you can see that, that little space there. And um, of course when it folds up, nothing gets in the way. The mattress is right there. And that little uh, bolt hole there is basically where the wire's gonna, I guess, be based from. So I need to be, oh, sorry about the camera work, basically about there. So yeah, we're just gonna drill a hole 
just out from the well, be the, the mount for the tent onto the rail that it sits on. And then I will figure out a way to get the wire sort of bent nicely around and up to here. We might just have to take a little notch out of this. I was originally hoping just to come up from the bottom, but that's just not going to work. So, let's get drilling. I think I can see the roof of the car down there. Alrighty, so we've got the wire up here for a random shot in the dark that actually came through really, really well and lines up nicely uh, on the roof. So I need to kind of shape that out a little bit and um, this is as much wire as I've got left, which is more than enough. And basically get this to sit down in here. I also love that usually like I buy all this sort of stuff on AliExpress as it's about a 20th of the price and I've had no issues with them. And like that's what's fitted out through this entire vehicle. And when you buy them from AliExpress, they're about three or four dollars, and they come with these. Spend, I was pricing, I think it was about $30 for this one, and it doesn't even come with some uh, little terminals. Like, how annoying is that? Come on, what is this one? Nava? Throw some terminals in, they cost you nothing. Alrighty, that's everything wired in. I plugged everything in and buy any fuses, which is always nice. So moment of truth, phone cable, down to the USB port. If I get on in, it's slightly harder to get to than I thought. And, right, phone, turn it off so it lights up when we actually plug it in. Boop. Hey, look at that. That's never gonna focus. Charging. Cool. So I've basically got phone charger up in the tent. How cool is that? Now let's just for, for extra assurity, got this light. The one normally hangs up on one of these bars here. I'll see, I've got a longer cable. If I plug it into my little doodecky and so sort of phone charging that on. Yeah, look at that. Cool. Oh, I'm stoked with that. Power in the tent after all these years. I honestly don't know why I haven't done it sooner. Like, we've kind of fought this problem for a long time now, and I don't know, it wasn't, apart from that stupid plug, it wasn't actually that hard. Oh, I've got a bit of tidying up to do. I just need to like cable tie the wiring up to the backbone as I can't really get to it at the moment with the tent folded out. And I think that's job well done. Like it's a tiny little mod, but it's gonna make my life just that little bit easier when I'm out on the road. And I don't know, anything I can do to be comfortable and to make my life easier, I'm all for. Anyway, thanks, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time on Overlanding Dead. See you later.